Last year, uh, I lost a, a dear family member. My cat. Yep, lost him. Ran away. Uh, figured he'd come back the next morning, but never did. He had a Bluetooth collar on him, and I kind of figured that he would never go too far away. Um, you know, that the collar would work, but it didn't. And, uh, yeah, haven't seen him since. Uh, I wish I had invested in something like one of those, uh, 5G collars or 4G collars, uh, where I could track them anywhere, but, uh, they, they get expensive. And I kind of assumed around that point that maybe there was another network solution out there. And that was actually the first time I had heard of Helium. Um... Yeah, and in reading about helium, people said don't don't get helium if you want to make cryptocurrency. It's not something good for investing. It's really something you'll want to do only if you're interested in the technology. And the fact is I was. I was interested in the technology to, well, put an antenna up in my house just so I would have that kind of coverage if a company that, well, tracked cats would come by and give me that opportunity. But again, I haven't seen one. Uh, but that said, uh, that's that's my first introduction into helium. And that made me start think about uh, helium mining and what opportunities there are out there for mining. Now, since then, of course, helium has become profitable. But with that is more expansion, which has slowly made it less profitable. And it's kind of got me looking at other options that are out there, either something that maybe has some type of synergy with helium or something that maybe be altogether different, like just standard GPU mining or uh, other types of mining that are available that are very specific. Um, and we'll talk about that in a second. But, you know, I mean, helium's doing pretty well right now. We're looking at uh, 45 today. So far, all systems are operational. Let's keep our fingers crossed. I haven't seen any new announcements on Discord, so very positive. If I look right now, my earnings are pretty good, about $106 a day. But as you and I know, that's, that's still dwindling. I mean, it was bad when there were network issues, but more and more people are joining the network and our numbers are going down. In October, I was slowly building. Uh, I had my first miner up on the second, and then every week I had a new miner up uh, until into November, I had six miners. And look, if you look at the numbers here, I still haven't reached the numbers that I had in October. And I don't know if much of that is because of network issues or just because there are so many people that are part of the network now and are lowering uh, the transmit scale for everybody. Even then, as many of you know, helium hotspots cost a lot. I mean, that's assuming you can get one. Now, I, I know many of you know that if you try to get one from the manufacturer, it's going to be somewhere between $400 to, let's say, $700. And within that range, well, either they're out of stock or they're going to be, you know, shipping in 12 to 20 weeks, which is more like 30 weeks or never, right? Because I still haven't seen my Bobcat miners that I ordered in June, but hopefully they'll arrive soon enough. So many of us are going to places like eBay and we're trying to see what's available. Um, I don't know, Bobcat miner here at uh, $8.99? That doesn't seem too bad. Uh, ooh, Really? Gold spot miner at uh, almost uh, fourteen fifty. It's it's tough to know why these prices are so high, but you know, simply speaking, I believe it's because other people who are mining other types of currencies have given up on those and have moved over to helium, and so that that bumps up these prices high. Um, I've looked at things like, uh, you know, GPU mining and, you know, quite honestly, I, I've, I don't know enough about which graphics cards to buy. I know there are websites that will walk you through the process, but even then it was my understanding that uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, they're moving away from the systems that allow people to mine them today. Uh, they're going to be moving to validators like, like we have now with Helium. So yeah, 
we're, we're not going to be able to make money that way anymore. Even then, there are some currencies out there that allow it. Uh, I was excited about the idea of um, ASIC mining, right? ASIC mining seemed good. It used less electricity. I could get a bunch of them in my house. But how well do they really do? Now, here's a gold shell HS5. And it says it makes like $27 a day, which is, you know, what a, a helium miner can do in a good position. Um, but that said, how much does one cost? Well, if I actually get it from the manufacturer, which is generally sold out, $7,399. Yeah, if, if miners are willing to pay that amount for something that means that they'll be in, well, by the end of the year... It's uh, $9,756.17. Uh, so, you know, it will take them maybe nine months to get out of the red and into the black. Yeah, they're willing to pay what they're willing to pay for a, a helium hotspot miner if they think that uh, they'll be out of the red into the black in just three months. It's crazy. But that's the way of things right now. And I, I just feel like when I look at these, um, you know, the numbers don't look good for other mining options. So, for example, the LB box miner here, uh, which library tokens here, $519 without the PSU. That's a hundred, another 199 So 519 619 $718. And this makes a dollar a day, and it's out of stock already. Crazy. What else do we got here? Uh, the HS box again, eight nineteen plus another hundred ninety nine. And what does this make? Uh, this makes two dollars and thirty six cents. I just, I just don't know the value of these things. Um, the one I was, the reason I was looking at gold shell to begin with was the KD box. Now the KD box is uh, $3,799, again, without the PSU. So uh, add another 200 on top of that. So let's just say $4,000. But $4,000, I can make $40 a day, $14,499 a year. So $4,000, it's still going to take a little time. But once I'm out, you're making good money with this. And you know, the one thing about the profitability of these like ASIC miners is that it's not based off of how well the network's doing and what hotspots uh, you're able to witness beacons from and the transmit scales. Uh, you know, they do their hash rates and figure out their consumption and they can get some hard numbers assuming the uh <laughs> the cryptocurrency price remains stable right so the cryptocurrency price is going to go up and down that's the big fluctuating point same with us too but uh you know their their numbers are a little more stable in terms of what what they can do now that being said i don't know if you guys look at asic miners out there but uh you know some of these top 10 they're very profitable per day. But even then, like I look at this one right here, $109 a day. But if I look at my hotspots, I mean, I'm, I'm making close to that with six hotspots. Why, why get what they have, especially if you look at the cost of electricity? I mean, I, let's just look at this one. Well, we'll look at this one because uh, it's, uh, it's Kadena. Kadena is the one I've been thinking about for a while here. But... Uh, Yeah, I mean, these, these numbers don't look too bad. I'd, I'd be fine with having a bunch of these in the house if if they were available because they're out of stock everywhere. And that's why when people see that uh, Get Minted is about to do a drop, that's why it takes three or four hours because not just you and me are trying to get those miners, but people who are, who are mining everything are trying to get those miners as well as the scalpers out there. It's it's tough, right? It's it's a feeding frenzy out there. And that being said, I mean, obviously, well, while we have miners that make money, we have miners that don't make money anymore. We're looking at the negatives here. Wow. Like I can't imagine 
having bought this miner at the very bottom that makes negative uh, $6.94 a day if it's turned on. That's just crazy. Yeah, obviously, if I'm going to choose a miner to buy, I would love to buy the Gold Shell KD5. $358.02 a day? Yeah, that's that's what I'd like. So, I mean, you know, when we, when we look at these... It looks like ASIC mining could be something good to get into if anybody had them in stock. So, uh, you know, I'm hoping, like, I, I don't know how much I trust somebody like this, but even if I did, uh, ooh, I'm not going to pay $67,000. If you know people that are willing to pay $67,000 for the miners, then obviously they're the ones that are bumping up the price of helium hotspots. Now, all that said, it also got me thinking in this process, well, maybe there's something that has more synergy with uh, helium hotspots. Uh, we have all of these, like, for example, I have six locations out there. Is there something else I can also put in these houses that would make me money? And uh, the first thing that I learned about was Planet Watch. So Planet Watch does have their own tokens and they have their project. As you can see, uh, it's, you know, the objective is global air quality monitoring. And, you know, that's, that's noble. And if I look over here, uh, I can see the details and they have licenses. So you have to buy a certain license for it to work. And then you have to find the right sensors. And they have a couple sensors out there, but the one that I saw um, specifically was this one down here, which is uh, getaware.com's uh, product here. So it's an uh, aware. And, you know, $2.99 sounds great. I'll buy one for $2.99 if we look at the prices of helium hotspots right now. I don't even know how much it's going to make me. But the fact is, yep, it says uh, estimated shipping time, 12 weeks. Well, you know, like, a, <laughs> is that 12 weeks in um, Bobcat time? Because, like I said, I bought mine in June and I still haven't uh, seen heads or tails of that one. But who knows? Uh, maybe this is worth it. Maybe maybe you can find other options just like with Helium. I'm sure if you looked at the aware element, let's just, let's just do that for fun. I'm going to look at this. I don't know if it's going to be under Helium here, uh, but I'm looking at all categories right now. So yeah, hey, maybe, oh, uh, pre-order redescription. Great, I would rather have it in hand. Okay, 750 in hand. 750 in hand, how much is it gonna make me? Let's take a look at that in just a second. But, you know, that's one option. Now keep in mind, beyond getting it here, you're apparently going to need that license. So this is a type four indoor sensor. So you need to also buy a Type 4 license. That's weird. Why do we have licensing? Really like to know. Uh, but a license for one year is only going to cost you, uh, yeah, 35 I mean, I, I think that's also $35, not just 35 euros, but uh, it's not a lot. And 750 I don't know, maybe. It depends on how much money it's going to make you, right? Another one to consider that could go on top of all of this is... Deeper Connect. I don't know if any of you have heard of this. Uh, decentralized VPN. Sounded interesting to me, especially because, you know, it got me thinking about putting the VPN in connection to the uh, Helium Hotspot Miner. Since, uh, you know, maybe if you had more than one then around your house, it would allow you to make sure both of them were not relayed. Uh, but that being said, uh, I'm not seeing a lot of good information on this. Now, first of all, yep, 12 to 30 weeks. So definitely in Bobcat time, you will receive these. And uh, 939 for both the Deep Connect Mini and the Deeper Network HNT Miner. Now, keep in mind, I'm a little concerned at the Deeper Connect Mini because my understanding is you need a Deeper Connect Mini that was made for mining if you want a Deeper Connect cryptocurrency or to get it out of it. 
Um, and I, I can't tell if this is it or not. Now, in terms of how much you're gonna make, here is a calculator that is supposed to tell you. Now, I haven't quite figured out how to use this calculator. I gotta do my research. Uh, it looks like, I mean, I don't know what phase one is. I'm just gonna jump over to basic. So you get 2.74 DPR, which I, I assume is their cryptocurrency. And uh, while it shows yearly rewards could end up being somewhere around $1.50 here, phase one has it more like uh, 1170 And that's, again, depending on how much their cryptocurrency is worth. Now, I was just looking here uh, at uh, Coinbase. Yeah, $0.16. Cents. Not that great. I don't even know if they're using these numbers then for the calculator. It doesn't seem the calculator is connected because the calculator is showing, for example, at the basic 2.74, so I guess 16, right? 32 plus the 0.74, so yeah, maybe 41. Yeah, maybe not worth it yet, but as we all know, we, we don't know what's going to happen with, uh, with uh, cryptocurrency. You never know if it's gonna suddenly jump like Helium did, so... Maybe it's worth it. Another one that I'm saying then uh, is aware, and uh, I couldn't find anything. I honestly I couldn't find anything on um, on aware, but I did read this, uh, which says Type Four sensors that provide twenty three dollars in or sorry not twenty three dollars uh, twenty three point zero four planets a day. At the current rate at 0.75 USD per planet, it's about $4 a day or $120 a month. And is that what it is right now? Is it, uh, well, let's see. Planet Watch says it's 0.46 right now. So if it's 0.46 instead of 17, 17 cents, 17.5 cents, uh, that's better. Uh, so you're definitely going to make more than those numbers, at least by double. Um, yeah, at least by double, right? So you're looking at uh, 240, 250, more than 250, somewhere around there. Makes it seem like paying 750, you'll get your money back in about three months. So maybe it's worth uh, going to uh, eBay and paying 750. I mean, there's probably other better options. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, there's always the person that wants around two grand for these, huh? That is crazy. So I was looking at the nice numbers. <laughs> okay, well, I hope that gives you some idea out there of what your other options are beyond mining uh, HNT. Don't get me wrong, I think we should continue to mine HNT, but if we do have options like using an aware in the same house, as well as getting a miner to mine deeper connect cryptocurrency, maybe we should do it. All right, something to think about. Oh, also here's something to think about. I was looking at, uh, people talking to me. Claudia was talking to me. Um, I was looking at LinkedIn here, and I couldn't help notice that uh, the uh, CEO uh, calls themselves uh, the master of disaster here. Um, anyway, yes, yes, I'm trying to get in contact with uh, Helium and chat with them. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what they say. Hopefully, I can get them on my channel. If you would also like to hear directly from Helium, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and have a great evening.